Hey guys, what's going on? Jack Scalfani here. Welcome to the show. Just want to remind you to hit the subscribe button to our channel. Uh, we do tons of different recipes, barbecue, holiday recipes, pretty much everything. So uh, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell after that so it will notify you when a video comes. And um, I just want to give you a little background story first. So you all know I'm in Nashville. So there's a restaurant. It's an Australian restaurant and they brought they brought all the Australian recipes to this restaurant. It's kind of a breakfast lunch restaurant. It's called Hearts. If you've ever been in Nashville, you should visit. I give it like top score. It's it's amazing. I ate some of the most interesting food. One of the foods that I ate was called spiced cauliflower. So I'm like spiced cauliflower. Hmm. I never really saw that on menus before. Well it was good. So, uh, I just recently thought about that restaurant, how I want to go back. Um, and I wanted, I wanted to recreate spiced cauliflower. And so it looks like we're going to recreate spiced cauliflower. Um, we're going to do it right here, right now. And I'm going to show you how to do it. Um, come on in close to see the ingredients, but it was such an interesting flavor. I, it's one of those dishes that I loved it, but you're either going to love it or you're going to not like it. I don't think you'll hate it. I just think it won't be your cup of tea. Does that make sense? All right, come on in close. Okay guys, so we've got our cauliflower florets right here. And this, the spiced section of it is this right here. It's gonna be some whole black peppercorn. It's gonna be some cumin seeds some ground coriander, and some smoked paprika. So the way you do it is, let's get, if you have prep work to do, first thing we're gonna do is prepare the spices. So let's prepare the spices, then we can fry up the um, cauliflower, then we can spice the cauliflower, then we can call it spiced cauliflower, all right? So let's get ready right now. So I'm gonna use my coffee grinder, and I'm gonna eyeball everything because that's the kind of guy I am. So let's get this open first. Let's see if I can get this. Put in a little bit of uh, cumin. There we go. cap back on. I love cumin. This is great. I'll be using this definitely. Put that over here. Okay. Now those are seeds. Those are going to have to be ground up, but this is already ground. I'm just going to throw it in anyway to get it mixed in because I couldn't find uh, coriander seeds. I could only find ground. It's weird. Sometimes you can find coriander seeds. Sometimes you can't, it's just a mess. You don't know what you're getting into. I think it's roughly a teaspoon. There we go. And then we're going to do some pepper. Um, not just pepper, but peppercorns. We're going to put a few peppercorns in there. Close that up. And last but not least, smoked paprika, which is one of my favorite ingredients. Ever since I learned of it, I have loved it ever since. Okay, let's get this all out of here. Put the lid on. You ready? So it's still got some little bits and pieces, but as you can see, it's grinding up just nicely. It's weird. The most powerful flavor I can smell is, is the cumin. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to get a bowl. Put 
that off to the side. And there you go. See that right there? That's what we're using. Put that off to the side for right now. That's the spice blend that uh, smells really strong in the kitchen right now. It's unbelievably strong. All right, let's get all our... I would really like them this size. Okay? So if you can cut up your cauliflower to kind of bite size little bits, that'd be great. That would be very cool. And if you can't, that's okay. We'll just get the rest out. All right, now we've got all our cauliflower um, broken up or cut up or whatever, separated into little florets. We're going to now put some coconut oil. It asks for vegetable oil, but I don't like what coconut oil. Vegetable oil, if I don't have to. I'd rather cook with coconut oil. Let's take some big spoonfuls. There we go. Get some coconut oil on the bottom of this. It wants like an inch. I'm not doing an inch. Just doing two heaping spoonfuls. There we go. Put that over here. Get a flame. Check your flame. Yep, got a flame. Go ahead and melt that. We're gonna fry our Cauliflower, if you want to use vegetable oil, go ahead. Now while that's all heating up, you're going to want a spoon like this so you can scoop out your cauliflower once it's all toasty. So you're going to kind of brown the outside of your cauliflower just a little bit. Lightly toast it around in this oil. Kind of fry it up in the oil. And put it on a paper towel to drain, okay? So you'll scoop it out and then put it on a towel. I'll show you. Okay, you can see our paper towel over here on a plate. Kind of like baking. You drop the... Drop your cauliflower that's been fried onto the towel. Use the scooper. There's our cauliflower and there's our coconut oil. So I got one piece of cauliflower in the oil right now. Go ahead and drop the rest in. Take your time. I'm gonna put about half of this in. All right, that was a lot of cauliflower cooked up, but it made a little bit, it shrunk up. Kind of like kale, shrivels up. Well, this is about the most I got. So I'm gonna take our spice blend and gently sprinkle it across. I may not need it all. I may use it all, I don't know. Gotta see how it looks. Yeah, I think that's it. I think we're gonna save that last little bit. And then take your spoon and toss this. All right, let's pour that out. Just a little bit. It's totally raining outside, it's weird. Okay, so what would I do different? I like to, I'll give you that in a minute. Let me see if the spice blend is even worth making, okay? Here's one, a nice size one. Right there. Beautifully seasoned. Let's give it a try. Mm-hmm. Tastes like the restaurant. So what would I have done different to make this better? I would have left it in the oil, fried it a little longer, make it a little crispier because it's a little soggy, but some are crispier. I would pat dry it more. I would season it heavier, but um, but the seasoning blend, the recipe should be down below. The seasoning blend is perfect. And there's a sweetness that comes out of the cauliflower when you saute it or you cook it in oil or whatever. Yeah, it's really good. That is worth making. All right, guys, so give it a try. Let me know what you think. Uh, I thought it's very delicious, exactly how I remember it from the restaurant, and I will be making a batch of that soon, okay? 
I love you guys. I'll see you on the next episode. Bye-bye.